Hi guys, just a little video to show you. Uh, I finally managed to get this box set finished, which I mentioned in a previous video I was working on. It's the uh, Warlord Games Late War French Infantry set, the Polar Wars. And uh, yeah, I actually quite enjoyed painting these figures. I'm not a great, well, I'm not a huge fan of the Warlord Games figures, but uh, yeah, the plastic ones. But yeah, I quite, quite enjoyed these. Uh, maybe it was just because they were nice and easy to paint as well, all being in great quotes, apart from the command, a couple of command figures. So yeah, uh, very enjoyable. So I'll just, I'll, I'll go along the end of the line here, guys. Uh, see, I've got a, a Grenadier company with four figures on the end there. Uh, that's the only thing as well. I noticed with the Grenadier slash Voltigear figures, I think there's only two poses, which is a bit unfortunate, never mind. Uh, the next four guys here is one of the centre companies, and you'll see like, this guy at the back here, I'm just touching here, that's actually a Perry's, Perry Miniatures plastic figure. Uh, I've also got another one, I think, at the end, just, uh, just for a bit of variation. I had a two, couple of figures lying around, so I thought I would put them into the mix there, uh, as a command stand which has the two metal figures at the front, the officer and the, the standard bearer, eagle bearer. Uh, yeah, this officer here, when he arrived, he actually, the sword was broken off. So what I did was drill the hole into the hand, and this is actually, it bends around, it's actually a plastic sword off a box set. It's worked in quite well. It's a little bit flexible, so... Uh, it's stayed on through the, the rigors of getting painted up and whatever, so it should be okay. <laughs> uh, the next stand here, the metal figures again, the, the other officer and the drummer, they were really nice figures actually, I really enjoyed painting them. Uh, yeah, and there's a, a company and at the end of all the gear, and you'll see, as I mentioned, the, the other Perry's miniature figure on the back there. And that's it, I'll turn around one of the guys just to get a look at the back guys. Uh, yeah, so as I said, all being in great coats, they were very easy and quick to paint. Just concentrated, putting a bit more detail on the flesh tones and that. And, uh, and a little bit, so obviously the drum the corns and the drum and all that. Uh, the flag, I'll just turn that around a bit again, guys. Uh, yeah, the flag is, as usual, uh, I buy and flag some GMB designs. Very nice it was. And also replaced the pole. Uh, the one that comes with the box set was quite a thin wire. So what I've did, I had a box of, uh, well, the, the metal sort of spears that they're under, uh, you get them from the Perry's website, a box of, I can't remember how many. And uh, yeah, it's really, really, you know, sturdy wire. So I used that instead, just filed the top so the eagle and the uh, the ribbon parts would glue onto the top as well. So yeah, I think that done up quite well. I'll just turn that around a bit, guys, as well. And see the flag a bit better. I just lift that up. Yeah, so that's the, the GMB designs flag. Uh, these are painted up as the twenty fifth uh, twenty fifth regiment aligned. Cheers, and uh, these were at Waterloo, part of DL Loans Core. So I'll just follow that again, guys, a little bit. So, yeah, that, that's what I've managed to get done, finished off this week, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, I've started undercoating, uh, well, I've primed and started undercoating the, the metal Perez Confederate figures, which I showed a couple of videos ago in the unboxing. So they're underway now. So hopefully, I'm away in the holiday in a couple of weeks' time, so hopefully. If I could bash through them, maybe get them finished off before I go up, would be good. So when I come back, I get to start something new. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated with that, guys. Me watch all the videos, great stuff. Keep it up, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.